Welcome to the system here. We're gonna make a tutorial about about Arch Linux, Budgie then, and we're going to install it on the Linux Mint system. And the latest kernel is applied, and we have a special Arch Dark Crimson. Is the red look here, and these folders are special folders from from the Sardi icon theme. Okay. We're gonna use it uh, use VirtualBox instead of uh, VMware Player, and um, we are gonna make a copy of a base system, which is uh, shown in another tutorial. So we stopped the installation of Arch just before we were to going to install all the Xorg, which is the screen display, and uh, drivers from the graphical drivers, because we're going to install a VirtualBox, not directly on NVIDIA or ATI or Intel. So we uh, stop there and we're starting from, well, uh, what I call an Arch Linux base. Since I want to reuse and reuse everything for uh, future installations, uh, Cinnamon, XFCE, any desktop can go on site on, on top of uh, Arch. So I'm gonna clone this. We're gonna give it the name to, for uh, to remember, I mean, it's a desktop environment called Budgie, so we're gonna call it Arch Budgie. <coughs> I've made another tutorial, so this is the second one, I mean a second video, and um, scripts have been changed already somewhat. So let's go over them and see what uh, is different. And let's boot in Arch. And this is the archway, meaning you end up in a, in a terminal, a black screen. And go ahead. What I'm doing, going to do is getting information from the net. So you should have Git installed, but it is already installed. But for educational purposes, I will reinstall it. Uh -huh. And then you type clone me information, your personal information, you can get your own GitHub uh, online, no problem, just for free. And then you can put all your um, scripts there. And there is also a GitHub tutorial on every tupois if you want to do it. So github.com, my name is Eric Dubois, welcome, and we're going to install Arch Budgie. And all the scripts are coming. I'm gonna move to this folder and I'm going to move in the installation folder and this is all my scripting to uh, install TeamSpeak, TeamViewer, you see everything here but you see too much I mean there's a lot of stuff so ls-al will show you something else ls-aux will show you something more and this is actually what I want we have to run the numbers. So we start from 20 and we have to choose, you see, Belgium or Arch Mirrors. So we're going to choose Arch Mirrors. And then um, you have to choose the XORG, which uh, hardware do you have or are you installing a virtual box? You should use that one then. Installing Packer and the Budgie, the core software, the printers, the sound network. So that's new. I, did this, I split it up in printer, sound and network extra software, the themes, etc. So let's go ahead. So we remember to start with 20. Which uh, script do you want? So I'm using tab, I'm pressing tab twice and I'm gonna use just the normal one, not the one for Belgium. So people who are listening and are from Belgium or the neighborhood. So it's uh, Belgium, UK, the Netherlands, France, Germany. So. Uh, the neighbors are inside it. We're installing Reflector and it's going to load quite a list of servers. It's going to ping them and test them how fast they are, if they get a response or not. If pinging doesn't help, well you don't have to. It doesn't give a response. They're not included in the list for sure. And you see the speed behind it Kangoo root is there a very fast one and um, well we'll get a nice mirror list 
and the fastest will be on top. There we go. So this was arrow up, this was 20. I'm going over to 30. This happens to me all the time. Zero, three, tap. Again, another tap and another tap. So I have to choose. In this case, it's not difficult to choose. We're working on VirtualBox. When you're working on SSD installing the same thing here on a real actual hard disk or SSD, you should know, do I have an NVIDIA, do I have an ATI, do I have an Intel? And we're going to enter and all the software xorg and the special driver for the virtual box is going to be installed there is also a tutorial on error to board to install the actual nvidia driver of um, of nvidia.com uh, on your system now he's asking us a question uh, two choices choose VirtualBox guest modules arch in the next installation you see it's on top so i've tested it for you already and option number two is the one we need to be able to see something otherwise it's all a black screen and we have to confirm it again so we will confirm it again with a yes and there we go again done so with arrow up i check again which number did i just use so i have zero four again to do packer is a uh, program to install software from the aur the arch user repository let's keep it simple that's where the fun is so all the software everywhere on the net has been uh, well built not built it's, it's it's a package kind of package where all the lines are what you need uh, to install this kind of software like spotify for example and then zero 05 let's install the main thing but she comes together with gnome you could install also gnome extra if you like that you should check on arch what's inside uh, gnome extra to see if at all there are things software eh, that you use or that you say well good riddance i don't need it so but GNOME and Budget Core will be well in uh, a duo. You see GTK JTK three being installed. So blues passing by, so Bluetooth. GNOME screenshot. So a lot of GNOME software coming, of course. But we need them. Then it says display manager being activated. So reboot and select the proper desktop environment with the coach symbol. It's, well, a little trick you have to know. If you do not know it, you reboot and you'll end up in GNOME, which is not, of course, our idea. So I'm gonna rescale back down to 100%. And here we are. So this little symbol here, if we I don't change it, I'll go to GNOME and that's not what I want. So I'm going to change to Budgie, there we are, and we could eventually as well go to full screen mode if you like that, but do remember that you have the F for full uh, screen and that you have to press the right control on your keyboard. So let's switch, so you see only Budgie. Then it's not finished. We go to the files. We pin this program to here. And then we have to 
click Arch Budgie, go inside the installation. The things we've done are this one, this one, no, this one, that one. So again, this, no, again, this one, this one, this one, this one. And all the rest we've not done. So it's up to you to decide what you run. But you keep running the numbers. So we need to run this one, the 100. We go with the right mouse click to the terminal. We put this one here. We put this one there. And then we might go inside the profile preferences to give you a bigger font. And there we go. Let's go. There we see we have a problem. Houston, Houston, we have a problem. But I suppose you will not have a problem. So I'm gonna go to my settings and tell this system that I'm a little bit different. I have a other keyboard. My keyboard has always been since my birth birth an SFT. So from now on I will be blind typing again. Let's go to 100, install the core software. Some of the stuff is already installed due to GNOME, Baobab, which is a, a desktop um, scanner to see how much space you have, how much a folder, how much gigabyte it is and stuff like that. Firefox is being installed, Evolution is being installed, FileZilla is being installed. So many of these programs you will not need or you want to delete. All you have to do is yeah, delete them or put a hashtag in front of them and they will not be installed. There's also another tip I didn't tell you in the tutorial. You might want to clone my GitHub if you say, well, this is an interesting setup but I want to change this and that and that and that. Then you can clone my GitHub, continue working on, on my efforts and tell, okay, I don't want this software, I don't want that software and upload it to your own GitHub. And next time around, you have your own setup. That's also a great tip. We're at VLC, meaning we are up almost at the end. Voila. So, 100. What else is there? I'm using the tab. So, I've divided these things in separate stuff. So, if you don't want to install sound inside of your virtual box, it's just for testing. You don't need to. But, of course, in a, a regular system, you need to install the sound to have some music. And then we go to... 130, the network a program I like to use, and no 140, so we're going over to 200. 200 is all these scripts up here or down here can be started just by not double clicking in this uh, soft in this distribution, but by installing with the, the terminal. So you can have Atom, Brackets, Scoreboards, Discord, and Dropbox is now being installed. No, Spotify has already been installed. So Dropbox has passed already. And all these programs, radio is quite interesting. Have some music in your system. Some icon themes. Music again, Slack, TeamSpeak, and so on. So some of them have been chosen to, to be installed, like Dropbox, Spotify, and I think Sublime Text as well. And all the rest is up to you, whether you want to install it or not, if you want to install VirtualBox or not on your Arch system, or Vivaldi, and so on.
Later on you'll see that um, the Arcolora, what is Arcolora? Arcolora is a way to change the arc theme from Horst 3180 to have an other color than the standard uh, blue one. So if you go and check out, for instance, one of the icons, we have here not a blue uh, color here, but a red color. So that's arc dark red. And the cow is a project I did on Eric Dubois, a complete desktop um, turnover into this color, which is more kind of orange, sandy color. In the meantime, Sublime Text is being installed. And this one was uh, a blue, so it is already blue, but let's have a look what blue it is. So it's a darker blue than the normal kind of arc blue. So the thing is, we have, I don't know, 16 million colors, and you can choose one of those, and you go to the GitHub of Eric Dubois, Arc Colora, and then you follow some scripts, put in your color, and you have your own arc theme. We're back in business here. 200 has been finished. 200 is here. There is nothing in between. Let's go to 300. We're going to install the first the conky. Aureola is a conky. Sardi Extra, which is a scripting and experimenting on the Sardi themes. You should experiment on Sardi. You should change it. It's meant to cha be changed by you with scripts. So those are the Sardi Extra. Sardi is now installed and Surfin is uh, more colorful and less uh, complicated. But as you can see, we'll have to wait forever. It's a very slow download here. So I'm going to control C it and rerun it again. It gonna, it's going to go again to all the githubs and we have to re-download everything due to the slow, uh, what was it? Was this the slow one or was Surfing the slow one? I think slow Surfing was the slow one. Now this one is slow. <laughs> so what can you do? If you, okay, we're, we're speeding up. We're speeding up with the short bursts. So what can you do? You can also install the surfing icons another way. So you press this, this one and then icons and then you tap and here is my surfing. So I'm gonna do it this way. And there we are, that's the normal speed we should have it. It's installed. What else? Um, I think we missed also Plank. So we can install Plank this way, the Plank themes. That's the speed of GitHub, that's a normal speed. All right, so this number has been done, meaning this number, 300. So we're gonna do the next one, 400. And that's nothing, that's just uh, the font Noto that I like. If you want to share through via the, your own network at home, one computer, another computer, share music and video, you should install Samba. If you're not, you should do nothing of the sort. And you can skip it. This takes a bit to compile it. Samba is quite uh, a professional way to share elements you can make incredible well, settings and incredible difficult settings to 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 um, be able to let one person get inside folder and or a group read and write execute all these type, kinds of things you can set it right it's like a really professional way to share things among the network For people using uh, Bose or Booze, I don't really know how to, tell, to pronounce it, but uh, there are people out there with Bluetooth headsets. It will work on Arch. It's a question of uh, how to make it work. 
So um, this is a little script that needs to be run to run that you have to run to be able to listen to the Bluetooth devices. Uh, you have a color sound touch, what you have a color sound of sound touch color or something. So different kind of uh, systems out there with uh, working with Bluetooth. And I stick to one brand as you can see. That makes it easier. So 500 um, is telling me a lot of stuff. You can install my personal settings to your system or you can reboot and start computing. You need to log in to the correct desktop environment. Yeah, type in a terminal the following code to reboot, pseudo reboot. No, I really want my personal stuff. So I'm going over to the 600, install personal settings. What does that do? As you can see here on the right, uh, left better, uh, you see all my, my places to be. Uh, only the only thing you have to do if you don't need those, uh, oops, something went wrong, you just right mouse click it and remove it again. But s the, the, the majority of the elements you'll need, uh, the tent, the opt, the local, the config, stuff like that, uh, applications, um, themes, icons, icons, Th these things you will need at some point in time if you don't want to, just delete them. What else has happened? These Arc Colora have been moved to here. So we can now select the Arc Colora uh, elements. And um, we've already told GNOME screenshots. So screenshot. We've told this little program if it takes a screenshot to put it in GPG because when I take screenshots it's about two megabytes uh, big uh, putting this on my uh, server on my website is far too much I'll easily go to one gigabyte of, of backup in a few years so I'm gonna make it in GPGs that's something we did and um, do not run script 700 yet he says which is this one why because first of all we need to run Firefox and maybe it's a good thing I didn't show you that in the other movie tutorial um, let's go to do, 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 do. let's go up to the home control H and then you don't see any Mozilla anywhere so we're gonna start up the Firefox you have to wait until Firefox is run and then you have here Mozilla. Firefox, thank you. No, thank you. You have your Firefox and this thing here, I can't know in advance what it will be. So it's not going to be APN, SF, R, H, G, everywhere in the world. No, it's going to be something individual. So you first have to run it. And then you can run script 700 telling it to copy and a, s a special kind of setting let's take a look what kind of setting it is is going to copy mozilla this one uh, chrome it's going to copy this and it's the user content css i don't know we, we can open it already let's scroll and make it open so what it does is say make the background color white because I often choose a dark theme, uh, some of the input boxes will become unreadable. And this little fix just makes it better for me to be able to uh, read, for instance, YouTube input box. So that's been fixed. Those are the small things you encounter and the fixes you find. I think it's uh, about time to, to actually reboot we could reboot but uh, there's no need to reboot but you can reboot and then let's install or run the tweak tool pin to the panel let's start uh, start with an arc dark blue where's arc dark blue darker blue am i missing it here damn so i like the arc theme Let's take something that goes with it, the ARC uh, folders. It's from also from Horst 3180. Ctrl H. Let's make it a bit smaller. That's better. Smaller is better. I think I've heard another expression. 
end up. The oh ah yeah, because of the the script 300, we skipped the installation due to the slow GitHub. What didn't we what have, have, have we not installed now is the cursor. My nice cursor is not there. So it's uh, the snow. The snow, 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 snow cursor. Let's find it. It's not in here. Let's show you then. Control Alt T. It's not yet programmed, as you can see. Control Alt T is not inside it. So I'm gonna ask, where's my terminal? And I'm gonna pin it as well. And I'm gonna say, are there nice cursors? out there and I don't know the name the cursor breeze snow and the packer will help me install it so this has been done via the script that we interrupted and uh, number 300 I guess it was but it's interesting to see how you install stuff as well so the breeze server is installed you should be here if you restart so now I have my nice cursor and everything is set let's take a look around maybe the wallpaper could be better guys the wallpaper could be better as a first uh, startup there are nicer things out there and I'm gonna change the wallpaper on the start and I want the color to be Pick at least 80% of the screen resolution and let's scroll over the icon on top here. Well, that's not any, not better. That's better to have uh, for the rest of the tutorial. So I have this home, let's open this. I have uh, applications. Are my applications, are my icons in order? Everything looks good, everything looks like a circle, which is the Sardi icon themes. This is not good, so I'm opening it with another application. It's Sublime Text. I don't want to open the program. I want to open the text because it points to somewhere. And it points to something wrong. This is actually a mine, like an extension of a file. I want it to point to contacts. I'm going to save it. I could point it to Steam. I could point to anything, to Minecraft. But I pointed to uh, contacts uh, SVG, and there you have a nice little icon. So that's fixing the hard coded uh, lines for icons. What else? Um, what else? What else should we do? So we have a nice element here, nice element there. Let's get our conky. Um, maybe, oof, well, I've accidentally opened the terminal. Let's quickly change it to be a groovy terminal, a nice terminal, a beautiful terminal. Um, and mostly I make it a little bit bigger. For like so. And the colors are not good at now, but I'll fix that. Don't limit my scroll back to 10,000. Not a good idea. Sometimes I need to go back really far. Now this is the look uh, uh, until now, but maybe you would like to have also a transparent GNOME terminal. And that is there. So the transparent GNOME terminal, you go to your folder that you downloaded, and you see what else is there, what else can I install? And the GNOME, 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 GNOME terminal transparency version one. So you go to the terminal, what you want to install, voila. Well, uh, and let's do his work. He's installing, and in the meantime, <coughs> let's go over, let's install the Aureola Conkey, which is already installed, meaning it's already in the hidden folder Aureola, but not yet installed. So we're going to Acros, and we're going to open a terminal, and we're gonna run the installation program. So install conky.sh, that's where it is. Dot install conky. There are no conkeys. He wants to know 
you don't have a font so it will be ugly can I install the font yes and then one question more it wants to have authority to use DMZ code <coughs> that's a program that's going to read your motherboard and uh, stuff like that so information of your hardware let's see if these two conflict each other because you can't build one and the other depends on timing whether the one the one conflicts with the other it's like a lottery I think we'll get there. The right screen is almost there. Voila, we have a GNOME terminal, which is transparent. How does it look? Well, we'll have to, to wait, I guess, till this one is finished. And then we have, um, so what is this thing doing now? He's, he's, uh, I think the last thing he's doing is the Lua, the Conky itself. So it's installing this one, Conky Lua NV. Um, might be something that will not work with you because NV it stands for NVIDIA. But I do think, I just try it and, and see if it works. I do think it will work. But of course, if I don't have uh, any ATI or Intel, I cannot uh, check it or run it. Or I'm a solely NVIDIA user. Are there other things we could do on the system to have a complete element? Yeah, we can install Plank. I do like my little Plank. And it will be down here sometime, but we have to wait a bit. So that's done. In, in the meantime, our Oriolac Icarus is, is running. The messages were due because the Spotify is not yet uh, active and not, in, not uh, logged in and all that so everything should be still installed the Dropbox my login my password again for InSync again for Spotify and everything looks good the CPU temperature well you can't figure out what temperature I have in the virtual machine it seems don't worry be happy it's just a virtual machine just for tutorial reasons and then get rid of it and install it on a proper SSD we were talking about the blank so the plank is down here it pops up whenever you come down here but there are two things that should pop up as you can see you have the virtual machine popping up and this one i suppose it's been a little bit difficult to know which one should pop up so this is uh, my setup now next time the plank will not be there the plank will not be there you go to the tweak tool and you go to the startup application you say plus you say blank and you say add and now we have it with the startup application so the conkey will be there variety will be running and blank will be running so this is i think i'm pretty happy with the setup that i'm showing you now i've always went i always went to this one and the gnome tree tool but i should point out that we have actually another tool here which is the raven panel where you can set the sounds and all that as well and you can go further down here and here you can set the icons as well the only problem with setting the icons here is that it will not be immediately you have to log off and log on again then something uh, very far away hidden away i'm gonna change this that people know when i make a screenshot that this is arch budgie not solus which is what uh, it is built upon. So this is the desktop management actually coming from Solus. You see th this will not close. Uh, sometimes with escape or enter or click on something else, it will go away. If it doesn't go away, just click here and then you get another uh, settings menu, the GNOME settings, and then you click it away. All right, that concludes this movie. We've uh, shown you more elements than in the other tutorial. So enjoy Arch Budgie. And this is the way to shut down.